uncertainty until the very last minute. The members of the European Parliament here in Strasbourg knew the vote on the next Commission president was going to be close, but not even the candidate herself, Ursula von der Leyen, would have thought it was going to be that close. Votes in favor, 383. Ursula von der Leyen secured the majority by just nine votes. A weak result, but in the end, still enough to celebrate. My message to all of you is let us work together constructively because the endeavor is a united, a strong Europe. Her final address to Parliament, which some called the speech of her lifetime, seemed to have tilted the scale in her favor. Having the backing of her conservative EPP group, she could afford moving towards the left and resonating with other groups on issues such as climate. This is the greatest responsibility and opportunity of our times. I want Europe to become the first climate-neutral continent in the world by 2050. Von der Leyen has vowed to fight for a greener, fairer and more rule-based Europe. But relying on a parliament so fragmented, building majorities around any of these issues is likely to prove difficult.